So Deadpool joined the ranks of Fortnite today. I couldn't wait for our usual map change meetup, so today there is a special episode. 20 awesome details in the Deadpool update. Do me a favour, think about using code ADAMARU if this was entertaining. Let's do this! Let's get ourselves over to the yacht. But before we do, a quick look at how we unlock Deadpool. In the game, after completing the challenges, we step into a phone booth for the ultimate superhero change. Welcome to the game, Deadpool. Now let's find out what's at the yacht and look right away. The map has been updated to include Wade Wilson's sketch he drew all by himself. This continues on the boat where you can find many Deadpool comic images drawn by the hero himself. Some are more epic than others. There are also some pieces of famous art recreated just for Deadpool, with this image which is a pointillism painting made to mimic Georges Girard. By the way, pointillism is where the artist only uses a dabbing motion, not that kind of dab, to make the picture. Yes, I used to be an art teacher, don't judge me. This image here is another you'll likely recognise. It's Deadpool's version of The Scream by Edvard Munch. And the last piece of art is this, completed in a cubist style, kind of like Picasso. Oh, in fact, there is one more just inside the vault. See it for yourself? How debonair is that? In the main room of the yacht is the statue of Midas, but now he's been changed. His face has been replaced with that of the Merc with a mouth, and the globe is now a disco ball for a dance party below, complete with music. There's now a bar here, and there's two ice sculptures here. Can you name which characters they are in the game? I'll be skulking around in the comments to see who gets it right. Now let's look at the exterior of the yacht and all the lighting and colour changes and of course that balloon that's added. But also did you note that the umbrellas and parasols here are now Deadpool umbrellas. And look at the helipad landing bay. The H is gone and another Deadpool logo replaces it. Nicely done. Whilst here, here's a really good one. At the front of the ship is none other than Deadpool's pants. Blowing in the wind for all to see. Gotta love it. Walking inside the ship from the front deck is a taco takeaway complete with chimichangas, Deadpool's favourite meal. But I'm not too sure about that price, $45. Is this a good deal, people from America? There's another one of these round the back too. On the top deck of the ship is an office slash bedroom. First, let's look at the PC. Here we can find Deadpool's note from his hiding place, which depicts his design for the battle bus. And of course now, you've seen it in game. It looks great. Inside the cabinet next to this are the one and only chimichangas in pride of place for all to see. Real works of art. Out of interest, does anybody actually like those? Have you tried them in real life? As this is a bedroom, we have a wonderful bare skin rug and now take in those sheets. The Deadpool red with the logo yet again. And there's even a pair of your dad's underwear here too. Disgusting, they're a little brown to me. Maybe it's the light. Deadpool also tried to get a fireplace up here, but ultimately decided on a TV set playing a roaring fire on repeat. Just as good as the real thing if you ask me. Next, let's go into the bathroom where Deadpool has revolutionized toilet entertainment. He set up a gaming system and TV to allow us to play and poop at the same time. He's giving us the future right here. Extra points for the pink console. It looks good. Let's go to the back of the ship now and to this beauty. Deadpool's swimming float is indeed a unicorn. It had to be, didn't it? He's got taste after all, you've got to admit that. Around the yacht, you'll also notice graffiti, such as Deadpool's PlayStation grenade logo and unicorns, so many unicorns. And there's others too, which seem to change every few hours in game, which is cool. A quick note that if you visit the jacuzzi, there is more evidence of Deadpool's junk. <laughs> Now here's the biggest update to notice. A part of the yacht has been destroyed and Deadpool is preparing for a little cannon warfare. But get the detail here, the cat litter trays are where the cannonballs are kept. But I don't think these are machine made cannonballs. They look more like cat made cannonballs, if you know what I mean. And finally, the gym has been converted into Deadpool's streaming setup. He wants to be the next ninja. A full green screen setup, a new microphone, a top of the range PC, and a sock. I wonder where the other one is. 
What would Deadpool use socks for? In fact, don't answer that. Oh, also, check out the streamer chair. It's perfect. Deadpool also brings with him new emotes and this glider. Wow. But for me, this update will forever be remembered for this emote. I absolutely love this. We need to get 100 people having a race on these bikes. Are you up for it, people? Let's make this happen. So there we have it, as quick as I can, 20 mini updates to Fortnite with the Deadpool update. Thank you so much for your time. There's no Legends roll call in this episode, but they will return next time and will feature those people who've used code Adamaru in the shop this week. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time, Fortnite family. Enjoy the update. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. See ya.